hello everyone so welcome to new lecture on vector algebra so let's continue with our discussion from ncrt so this like in this lecture we will be doing a uh, vector joining two points and uh, section formula before we do that let's uh, see what we have learned so we we learn we can add two vectors we can add a vector a to vector b using triangle law and the third side which joins the initial point to the final point will be the sum of these two vectors right a plus b vector but we also learned so the, this was using using arrows so we learn or using drawing we learn the this should be the result right because displacement will be from initial to final point and we also defined key okay, we can add two vectors a vector and b vector by adding their components to each other so if i define a vector as ax i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap and b k components i define as b x b y and b z then we defined a plus b vector kya hoga humne define kiya tha a plus b vector mein hum unke components ko add kar denge we will get ax plus bx i cap plus we will have j cap mein kya aayega hamare paas ay plus by j cap plus az plus bz k cap so that's very good but let's relate these two ideas ki we can addition of vectors humne method 1 sikha tha we can draw it method 2 sikha tha we can add their components so this is the addition of vectors so it will it will be i think a very good idea if we can do an example and see how it really works so i will take two sample exam two sample vectors let's say a vector is i cap plus j cap a very very simple vector so i am doing a example in 2d so example in 2d so there will be no k cap but you can extend the idea in the third dimension so this will be a very good uh, way this in this way you can get get to visualize the idea so let's see b vector mai le raha hu let's say i cap minus j cap okay so from origin if i want to draw my first vector which is a vector so let's say this is 1 this is 2 and this is 1 here and 2 here okay so if i want if i want to go to the point 1 comma 1 so this will be here right so the uh, uh, because uh, this a vector from origin it is pointing to 1 comma 1 right because 1 i cap so i move along x axis and then 1 j cap so this is my a vector right okay this is my a vector and b vector is pointing to the point 1 comma 1 so it is 1 i cap so i moved one along the positive x axis and then one along minus of the y axis so i will reach this point so this is pointing to 1 comma minus 1 so this is my b vector and my question is what will be the addition of these two vectors right so maybe i can change the color of the b vector so i can make green b vector green okay so maybe uh i can redraw my b vector where so if i put my b vector at the head of the a vector uh, so i can draw a parallel line of same length so this is pointing towards this point which is 2 comma 0 right so from origin so so in this triangle you can look what will be the resultant uh, of all this so if i add these two what will i get so i i can uh, draw a vector here also so a vector but yeah so you can see the resultant from the parallelogram law or the triangle law the resultant will be this vector right okay okay uh, if you add a vector and if you add b vector to it b vector to it you will get the resultant as this here and so what is this vector so this vector 
so this is just we what we drew right and this vector looks like we have moved two units in the x direction so a plus b vector is looks like it is two i cap right and that is the result if you have just added them uh, here so you can do add the components and you will find twice of i cap right plus zero j cap right okay which is the same result and even on drawing we see we get to the same uh, point right two comma zero uh, if you add a vector plus b vector or b vector plus a vector it doesn't matter so this is the diagonal of the parallelogram so you can choose any two vectors and try to draw such diagram so you can try to uh, let's say you can do 4i plus j and you can add i plus j to it and you can maybe check uh, 4i plus j may if i add uh, i plus j vector so maybe you will reach at a point which is like 5i plus 2j or not okay so aap it sab ko draw karke properly draw karing if you draw it properly you might uh, you will get uh, correct results there and you will be able to uh, visualize it better so okay so let's continue our discussion uh, and uh, let's go to our new topic which is vector joining two points okay so what will be a vector which join point a to point b so let's see so our next topic of discussion is vector joining two points So uh, let's draw our axis and we will try to imagine two points, let's say A and B. So let's say this is my point A in let's say 3D, so X, Y, Z and let's say A is at X1, Y1, Z1. and this is my point B. Let's say this in 3D space is at x2, y2, z2. Okay. And if I imagine origin as O, so which is 0, 0, 0. And our question is what is this vector joining A to B? So and pointing from A to B also. So we want to calculate what is this AB vector. So how can we calculate this vector? So to do that, we will complete our triangle by joining the origin to point A and point B. So I will join this to point A and draw an arrow here. So this is my OA vector and I will join O to B and let's say this is my OB vector. So okay, so OA vector, OA vector kit now. So OA vector joining, uh, so we have already defined कि किसी भी पॉइंट का पोजीशन वेक्टर क्या होता है उसका कोऑर्डिनेट विल बी द स्केलर कंपोनेंट राइट सो एक्स वन आई कैप प्लस वाई वन जे कैप प्लस जेड वन के कैप ओके व्हाट विल बी ओबी वेक्टर सो मैं ओरिजिन से बी कैसे जा सकता हूँ आई कैन मूव एक्स टू अलोंग आई अलोंग एक्स एक्सेस एंड वाई टू अलोंग वाई एक्सेस सो जे कैप एंड जेड टू अलोंग z axis okay and in triangle o a b i will apply the triangle law and i can very very clearly see ki o a vector plus a b vector is the resultant which is o b vector so look carefully we are going from uh, okay so we are going from here to here and then here to here and the resultant is our third side right okay resultant is our third side which is ob vector right okay so from this i can find ab vector as ob vector minus oa vector and we already know ob and oa vector so we have now our ab vector which was our question this is a vector joining two points and this is 
एक्स टू आई कैप प्लस वाई टू जे कैप प्लस जेड टू के कैप माइनस एक्स वन आई कैप प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई वन जे कैप प्लस जेड वन के कैप सो सब करने पे वी गेट ए बी वेक्टर एस एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन आई कैप प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन जे कैप प्लस जेड टू माइनस जेड वन के कैप सो सो दिस इज अ वेक्टर पॉइंटिंग फ्रॉम ए टू बी सो ए टू बी एंड ए इज लाइक एक्स वन वाई वन जेड वन एंड बी इज लाइक एक्स टू वाई टू जेड टू एंड यू कैन क्लियरली यू कैन सी इट इज फाइनल माइनस इनिशियल राइट ठीक है सो द डेफिनेशन इज लाइक सो दिस इज द फाइनल एक्स कॉर्डिनेट राइट फाइनल एक्स कॉर्डिनेट यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम ए टू बी सो फाइनल एक्स कॉर्डिनेट इज एक्स टू एंड इनिशियल एक्स कॉर्डिनेट इज एक्स वन ओके सो दिस इज द वेक्टर ज्वाइनिंग टू पॉइंट ओके सो लेट्स गो इन टू एनसीआर टी एन सी सो या दे हैव ऑल्सो डिफाइंड द डिस्टेंस सो वट विल बी द लेंथ ऑफ ए बी वेक्टर सो वी ऑलरेडी नो ए बी वेक्टर इज ज्वाइनिंग पॉइंट एक्स वन वाई वन जेड वन टू एक्स टू वाई टू जेड टू एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दो टू पॉइंट एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर और यू कैन यूज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द नॉर्म ऑफ द वैक्टर राइट फॉर अ वैक्टर यू हैव टू टेक द स्क्वायर ऑफ द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट y component and then z component right and in ka square karke add karenge and then we'll put inside the square root or the distance formula right okay how are you define it but we have the distance uh, magnitude of the vector uh, joining two points also okay so so we have an example now so example 10 सो फाइन अ वेक्टर ज्वाइनिंग दीज टू पॉइंट सो ठीक है इन दोनों को पी और क्यू को ज्वाइन करने वाले दो वैक्टर्स हो सकते हैं राइट ठीक है इट कुड बी पी क्यू वैक्टर और क्यू से पी तक सो बट हमें कौन सा निकालना डायरेक्टेड फ्रॉम पी टू क्यू ओके सो दिस इज माई फाइनल पॉइंट राइट ठीक है एंड दिस हेयर इज माई इनिशियल पॉइंट एंड डेफिनेशन से फाइनल माइनस इनिशियल so what will be pq vector pq vector will be q ke coordinate uh, kya hai so minus 1 and usme se subtract karenge kya 2 okay i cap plus minus 2 minus 3 j cap plus minus 4 this is the final coordinate minus initial coordinate k cap okay so this is minus 3 i cap माइनस फाइव जे का माइनस फोर के का सो दिस इज द वेक्टर ज्वाइनिंग पी क्यू पी एन क्यू एंड डायरेक्टेड फ्रॉम पी टू क्यू सो दिस इज द पी क्यू वैक्टर ओके सो नाउ लेट्स गो फर्दर एंड सो अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सेक्शन फॉर्मूला सो आपने सेक्शन फॉर्मूला क्लास टेंथ में भी देखा हुआ है क्लास इलेवेंथ में भी देखा हुआ है क्लास इलेवेंथ में आपने थ्री डायमेंशनल जोमेट्री में इस फॉर्मूला को देखा था ओके सो इन क्लास टेंथ यू लर्न इंटरनली इंटरनली अगर कोई पॉइंट अगर बाइसेक कर रहा है किसी लाइन सेगमेंट को सो सो इंटरसेक कर रहा है सो वी कैन फाइंड द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ दैट पॉइंट इन वी लर्न लेट्स दिस पॉइंट इज एक्स वन वाई वन एंड दिस पॉइंट इज एक्स टू वाई टू and if i want to find the coordinates of the point which divides this line in the ratio m is to n then the formula is of so the coordinate of the point can be found as m times x2 plus n times x1 divided by m plus n comma 
एम टाइम्स वाई टू का प्लस एन टाइम्स वाई वन डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस एन एंड इन क्लास इलेवेंथ यू डिड द सेम थिंग इन थ्री डायमेंशन राइट इन इन क्लास इलेवेंथ यू डिड द सेम थिंग इन थ्री डायमेंशन एंड लेट से वी एंड हमने एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल केस भी देखा था हमने क्लास इलेवेंथ में सो सो इफ द पॉइंट डिवाइड्स इट एक्सटर्नली सो लेट से इन द रेशो एम एस टू एन सो लेट से ए बी एंड लेट से ए हैज कॉर्डिनेट एक्स वन वाई वन Z1 and B has coordinates x2, y2, z2 and we want to find the coordinates of the point P which divides AB externally in the ratio m is to n. So this here is m. So point uh, and this here is n. Okay. So we found the coordinates of the point. In external division came out to be m times x2 minus n times x1 divided by m minus n right comma m times y2 minus n times y1 divided by m minus n comma m times z2 minus n times z1 divided by m minus n okay so now we have class uh, section formula in class 12th also so but this will be in form of vectors and in school exam you should attempt it as a question from vectors so so the problem statement now looks like this so let's say we have x y and z axis so let's say z axis y axis and x axis and we want to uh, let's say internal case internal wala case karte so let's say we have point a which is x1 y1 z1 and a vector from origin which is at 0 0 0 to a is oa vector and mai isko short hand mein since it is pointing from o to capital a i will call it small a vector okay and let's say there is a point b also which is x x2 y2 z2 okay x1 y1 z1 so and the vector pointing from origin to point b i will call it b vector and our question is what will be the vector which divides the line segment joining ab which divides the line segment joining ab in the ratio m is to n so we want to find the coordinates of we want to find the vector joining from origin to this point p from this to this point p which divides it in the ratio m is to n so question is now asking ki what is op vector and in 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 sometimes we call it small r vector or r vector theek okay? ye kya hoga okay so again i'll repeat the statement of the question ki uh you have a point uh, a and you have the small a vector you have the point b and you have the small b vector and you have to find the vector which is the r vector or op vector that divides the line segment joining ab in the ratio m is to n okay so to do this question uh, i will uh, look into certain triangles and i will you uh, use the uh, information that i have ki i will use the information uh, ki length of ap divided by length of bp is m by n right okay so 
so so i cannot divide vector so so i took took the magnitude but but i can safely say if i cross multiply that term ki n times ap vector so this is nothing but humne ap vector ko scale kar diya right theek hai should be equal to m times pb vector so since and why it does this work because ap vector and pb vector are collinear right theek okay. hai if they are collinear we already know if vectors are collinear we know uh, for collinear vectors ke liye humne define kiya tha pichle lecture mein ki a vector can be defined in terms of b vector right a vector is equal to lambda times b and this looks like the same type of equation but we we know the lambda ki we know from this ki magnitude right कि इन दोनों सेगमेंट्स का एपी और बीपी का रेशो कितना एम एस टू एन सो आई जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइड इट एंड रोट इट इन द वेक्टर फॉर्म मैंने वेक्टर्स को क्यू डिवाइड नहीं किया बिकॉज दैट दैट डज नॉट मेक सेंस राइट बट आई कैन स्केल द वेक्टर राइट ठीक है सो सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज सो फॉर दैट आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट ए पी वैक्टर एंड पी बी वैक्टर सो लेट्स लुक इन टू दैट सो लेट मी चेंज द कलर ऑफ द पेन ओके so in triangle oap i can find ap vector so ap vector so i can clearly see in that triangle ki if uh, op vector is equal to oa vector plus ap vector right theek okay. hai you can cancel these two a's and check right op is equal to op or you can look into the triangle theek okay, hai if i go from o to a then a to p then resultant will be f if i have gone from o to p right theek okay. hai so so from this i can calculate my ap vector okay so ap vector is nothing but op vector minus oa vector and what is op vector op vector is r vector and small case mein and this is a vector right theek okay. hai so we have a formula for now ap vector okay so let me call that equation as 1 so this one is 2 and let's write down our third equation so in triangle opb and our question is what is pb vector so so pointing from p to b so question is pehle kya tha ap vector tha अब ना क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज पीबी वेक्टर सो आई कैन लुक इनटू दिस ट्रायंगल आई कैन से कि ओपी वेक्टर प्लस पीबी वेक्टर सो यू कैन कैंसिल पीपी यू कैन सी इट इज इक्वल टू ओबी वेक्टर राइट दिस इज ओबी वेक्टर यू कैन लुक इनटू द ट्रायंगल ओपी वेक्टर सो ओ टू पी देन पी टू बी एंड इट इज द रिजल्टेंट सो फ्रॉम दिस आई कैन फाइंड आवर क्वेश्चन हमारा जो क्वेश्चन है व्हाट इज द पीबी वेक्टर पीबी वेक्टर इज ओबी वेक्टर माइनस ओपी वेक्टर एंड ओबी वेक्टर इज स्मॉल बी वेक्टर ओपी वेक्टर इज माइनस आर वेक्टर सो सो इज इट इज द आर वेक्टर ओके एंड दिस इज माय थर्ड इक्वेशन सो फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री आई फाइंड so basically i'm putting 2 and 3 in 1 n times ap what is ap vector r vector minus a vector is equal to m times b vector minus r vector so this was the uh first result and now this is our next so n times r vector minus n times a vector is equal to m times b vector minus m times r vector and we find m plus n times r vector so i'm bringing the terms with r vector on the left side because that is our question what is the r vector what is the op vector right and this is equal to m times b vector plus n times a vector and r vector is nothing but so m and n m plus n is basically a number and you can divide two vectors with a number up scaling to kari sakte so we find m times b vector plus n times a vector divided by n plus n so this looks like the formula that you have learned in 
class 10th and 12th but only thing is now you are calculating in terms of vectors right so diagram goes like this ki a and b and this is small a vector joining from here to here o to a and this is small b vector and now you can find the r vector which divides it in the ratio m is to n right okay and r vector is defined as m times b vector plus n times a vector so पहले की तरह ही है फॉर्मूला कुछ चेंज नहीं है एम टाइम्स बी वेक्टर एंड एन टाइम्स सो एन टाइम्स ए वेक्टर डिवाइडेड बाय एम प्लस एन एंड सिमिलरली एक्सटर्नल डिवीजन के लिए यू कैन ट्राई टू प्रूफ इट योरसेल्फ प्रूफ इट योरसेल्फ सो एक्सटर्नल डिवीजन के लिए यू कैन सो द स्टेटमेंट विल बी लाइक दिस let's say a b and you want to find the uh, the vector r so maybe i can do without the axes okay so and let's say this is origin so and this is the point p so this is the r vector this is the b vector this is the a vector and we want to find the coordinates of point p which divides ab line segment ab externally in the ratio m is to n so okay it divides it in the ratio m is to n so this length here will be m and this length here will be n and in this case so so this length here is m p to a and uh, a to p and p to b b to p is n okay so here the result is ki r vector can be found as m times b vector minus n times a vector divided by m minus n so simple formula hai and simple sa diagram hai and and you will find, since vectors have all the three components uh, within them so all the three coordinates also all of the other calculation will be parallel you don't have to calculate x coordinate separately y separately and z separately you can do it in the same uh, calculation but as it is more or less the same thing then we have a form of midpoint formula also so midpoint formula so this is like if we if i have the a vector and b vector and i want to find what will be the vector exactly at the midpoint of it so this r vector so this is these two lengths are same so r vector will be nothing but a vector plus b vector by 2 so this is the special case of the internal division right where the ratio is 1 is to 1 right okay so that completes theory for 10.2 the, there are certain number of examples which we will do now and let's continue so so consider two points p and q uh, with op vector and oq vector are given so these are the position vectors right okay so and find the position vector of the r which divides pq in the ratio 2 is to 1 internally so let's say this is origin and this is like op vector and this is like oq vector and we want to find o r vector we want to find the position vector of point r okay which divides it in the ratio 2 is to 1 internally so okay so internal division ka formula 
we already know r vector is m times b vector plus n times a vector divided by m plus n so for this case uh, where m m is 2 n is 2 is to 1 and a and b vector ki jaga we will have to replace op and oq vector so we find or vector is nothing but so hum 2 ko kisse multiply karenge is 2 so this 2 will be multiplied with the vector on this side right okay so 2 times oq vector right plus 1 times op vector so you can look at there ki 1 ko kisse multiply kar rahe hain the vector on that side right okay divided by 2 plus 1 okay so it doesn't matter vector kis form mein given hai. Uh, so vector a vector can be constructed from other vectors it is not given in the component form but it doesn't matter the formula is fine so we will just put the value of oq vector oq vector kitna hai? a vector plus b vector and op vector kitna hai to 3 times a vector minus twice of b vector and divided by 2 plus 1 okay so this is or vector so or vector kitna aa raha 5 times a vector minus sorry plus b vector divided by 3 okay so internal division pe hamara answer ye aa raha second part is external division so uh, question is like ki ye ra op vector and we have oq vector and we want to find or vector which divides it externally in the ratio 2 is to 1 so uh, r so so this ratio here is 2 and this ratio here is 1 so what we will do uh, so hum, let me again use the color marking so p se r ka distance kitna 2 hai and we will multiply it with the sec second vector right and second vector se r, r ka distance kitna hai so it is 1 right so it is in the ratio 1 and we will multiply it with the first vector right okay so and i will write down the formula also ki r vector is nothing but m times b vector minus n times a vector divided by m minus n so what will be o r vector o r vector kya hoga o r vector will be twice of o q vector minus one times the so sexual formula external case ke liye hai o p vector divided by two minus one okay so o r vector is twice of o q o q was i guess a plus b right a plus b and three a minus two b okay so a plus b and minus one times three a minus two b divided by kitna ra? one ra. so o r vector is minus a vector plus 4 times b vector okay external division by we find the uh, vector or vector that divides line segment joining p and q in the ratio 2 is to 1 externally is minus a vector plus 4 b vector let's move to next question So show that this is a uh, these three are the vertices of the uh, these are the position vectors right so I should write it as a as a coordinate or OA vector kitna hai 2 i cap minus j cap plus k cap so this is the position vector of the point a so and o b vector kitna hai so b vector is i cap minus 3 j cap minus 5 k cap and o c vector kitna hai OC vector is 3i minus 4j minus 4k. So once we do dot product, there will be more ways to prove this question. But right now, um, uh, we have to do it using vector joining two points. So 
so I I can draw my 3D axis or something like this. And let's say this is my point A. So A ke coordinates I can write down as 2 minus 1, 1, right? So and I have uh, some B at some point, B, and some C at some point, C. And we have to check if this triangle is uh, a right angle triangle at so B K coordinates kya hai? So B K coordinates hai? Uh, one minus three minus five. C K coordinates hai? three minus four and minus four. Okay. So हमारे पास position vectors given थे. Position vector I have already said are same as the coordinate of the point. ठीक है? So what what we will do is we can now find AB vector, right? AB vector हम निकाल सकते हैं. हम क्या निकाल सकते हैं? BC vector निकाल सकते हैं. And we can find AC vector, right? ठीक है. So AB vector क्या होगा? Using the definition, final के coordinates minus initial के coordinates. AB vector is final point is B. So one minus two I cap plus में Final point क्या B so minus three plus one J क्या plus minus five minus one K क्या okay so AB vector is minus one I क्या minus two J क्या minus six K क्या similarly let's find BC vector so B to C if you are going from B to C uh, vector will be uh, Let's see, BC vector get now, B to C, final point is C. So final minus initial, right? So three minus two I cap. So three minus one, sorry, initial point was one, right? So three and one, so here minus four, plus my minus four, plus three, J cap, plus my minus four, plus five, K cap. So we find BC vector is, 2i cap minus j cap minus so plus 1 so plus k cap okay let's find ac vector ya fir ca vector bhi nikal sakte ac vector will go from a to c final point is c so 3 minus 2i cap plus me minus 4 mi plus 1 j cap plus me minus 4 minus 1 k cap so this is equal to I cap minus 3 J cap minus 5 K cap okay so why I have calculated so we have now basically found a B vector so a to B right B to C and we co I, I could have found C A but we have found A, a C okay but all we only require mod so what is the magnitude of the length kya unka, right? we will use pythagoras theorem to check which one is the right angle triangle so ab vector kitna hai? so mod of ab is root of um, 1 so minus 1 ka square plus minus 2 ka square plus minus 6 ka square and this is 1 4 36 root 41 okay let's find bc ka mod bc mod is root of uh, you can see 2 square 4 1 square 1 1 square 1 which is root 6 uh, ac mod ac ka modulus is square root of 1 plus 9 plus 25 which is square root 35 okay so so the shorter sides are BC and AC. So is uh, AC square plus BC square. Let's find. Uh, so हमारे पास already हम we have AB square length of AB square कितना आ रहा है? Forty one right? AC square plus AB square कितना आ रहा है? So this is thirty five square. So sorry root thirty five square plus root six square right? Which is thirty five plus six, which is forty one. And now we can safely say AC square plus BC square is AB square 
सो दैट लुक्स लाइक सो दिस इज दाई पॉट न्यूज राइट ठीक है सो दैट लुक्स लाइक हाई पॉट न्यूज के ऑपोजिट वाला एंगल कौन सा है सी सो अवर ट्राइंगल इज राइट एंगल एट सी सो सो ए बी सी हेन्स ए बी सी इज राइट एंगल at c okay so thank you everyone notes will be available below the video and in the next lecture we will complete the exercise 10.2 we will be just doing questions uh, thank you uh, so like share and subscribe